Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Welcome back everyone. For anyone new, I review a lot of audio gear like headphones. I also review phones, but specifically look at the audio side and the quality of the cameras, because I also do photography um, as part of one of my things. And if you follow me on social media, you'll see some of the photos that I take and I hope you like them. So these are pretty um, amazing. These are 149 pounds or dollars, Hi-Fi Man HE 400 SE. So a pair of planar, planar magnetic headphones for 150 quid, with this sort of silver copper cable. But do they sound any good? Well, first of all, I'm just gonna show you what's in the box, which was very quick. And then I'm gonna talk about the sound quality. So this is the box that the Hi-Fi Man come in. It's the Stealth Magnets design. It's the HE400 FE. It basically says on the box here, frequency response 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, 25 ohms, 91 dB efficiency. They weigh 390 grams. Um, that's it, pretty much. And some labels there. If you open this box, if you open the box, what do you get? Nothing but the plastic, cables in there. I've taken headphones out because I've been testing them. The cables are there. Uh, it's 3.5 and a 6.3 millimeter adapter is included and that's it these are budget offerings at 149 pounds so or dollars i should say so you have to expect a bare minimum in terms of accessories but you have everything you need so these are the headphones they come with these connectors 3.5 each side it's like a silver copper cable it's very thin and you have a 3.5 millimeter. Now, if you look at the buds, the covers here, they are like a fabric, sort of memory foam. They are very, very comfortable actually. I like these a lot. You've got flexibility here. You can see through. It's nice soft padding. I find despite the weight, these are really, really comfortable for me to wear. Anyway, let's talk about sound quality. Um, yeah, there you go. So you've seen what's in the box, sound quality. So first of all, these are the same audio tracks that I use to test these. I do it with every pair of headphones. I do listen to other um, headphones as well. I tested these um, with the iFi Audio IDSD Diablo uh, portable amp DAC. I even use some cheap, the Apple dongle, you, um, you lightning to um, 3.5. And I also use the Google dongle as well, USB-C to 3.5, just to see how these sound. And can you use a cheaper dongle to power these or do you need something a bit more juicy? Long and short, you can listen with a very low powered dongle, like the ones I suggested, but these really do need a bit more oomph to drive them to get the most out of them. So let's talk about the treble and the mid and the bass. These have a very enjoyable sound. They have a bit of punch in the bass, nice clean uh, mid range, and the treble's not too bright. I really like listening to these. The, the headband's quite soft if I put these on my head, like so. I really like this high fi man design more than the bigger oval shape that you have with some of the more expensive headphones. This design is soft, it's got like a slight velo pad as I showed you when I did the close ups of these, and I have some swivel flex here. So these are actually comfortable, they sound good, obviously open back, they leak everything. Honest to God, I can't believe these cost and, and what they do cost. They are terrific value for money. Um, if you want to know how they sound against some other headphones like Sandara's, which I've obviously got and reviewed, or anything like that, just let me know. Um, all questions are answered below. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Take care, guys. Bye for now.